Hello everyone, I'm back tonight, uh, going to do another truck run. Tonight I'm going to be going from Strasbourg to Frankfurt and I'm carrying 25 tons of cement. So let's go ahead and uh, get the truck started. Get turned here. See if we can... Ooh. Ah, oh, I see now. <laughs> here I thought I was going to back out of this place and actually uh, do it flawlessly and I was looking at my GPS thing and that didn't work out. <coughs> so I'm going to try to get turned around here. <coughs> and let's see. Can I go behind here? Let's see if I can go behind here and get out. Um, I hope this was the right way. It looks like it is. Oh, look at that. A little cleaner exit than last time. Alright, so let's get up here and make a right. And we'll make another right. So, according to my GPS, I have 244 kilometers to go, and in game time, this will take about 3 hours and 57 minutes. So, this ought to be interesting. Probably a lot of good scenery to cruise through town here. Uh, and, alright, so right here and we're going on the Dijon to Zurich direction so oop. ah drug it I'm trying to get better at managing my just managing the truck this is my third major run so forgive me if I'm still amateurist because truth be told I am so here we are we're on the uh, freeway and I'm about to exit again. This is the Meets Reams exit. I'm sure you guys could read that. Probably don't need me reading it for you, but I'm trying to figure out something to talk about when I do these runs. I've actually been talking with a friend of mine, and we're thinking about uh, you know doing some sort of a philosophical discussion while I'm doing these truck runs, so that uh, you know people can enjoy the actual run itself and. Uh, here kind of a lively discussion, but uh, I, haven't, I haven't got it nailed down yet, so I'm not sure if that's it's going to happen. I, I would really like for it, ooh, better get over it. I'd really like for it to happen, but, uh, you know, when you're dealing with other people, you've got their schedules, and of course, whether or not uh, they want to do it. He sounded pretty enthusiastic about it, but we'll have to wait and see. Oh. Ooh, barely almost missed that. A lot of freeway interchanges here, so. And, ooh, this is going to be kind of a curvy route. Let's see here. Slow it down a little bit. Ooh, ooh. I did find some mods for this game, though. Um, one of the mods I found was an actual American map mod. Now, I don't know how... Um, you know, expansive it is, but I'm really thinking about deploying it. I did download it. Um, of course, I'll, I'll be, I'll, I'll, I am, whoa, whoa, no, boom. Well, I just lost 400 pounds, or yeah, 400 euros. Great. And, oh, all right. So that's what happens when you talk and drive. Here we go now. Oh, good grief. Cannot believe I just smacked him like that. That is ridiculous. But anyway, I was going to say is um, I, I live in the U.S., so obviously that would be a little more interesting to me, but I, I don't know how expansive it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to deploy it on my other computer, uh, take a look at it, and see 
what it's like and if, if I like it I'll uh, go ahead and deploy it here on this one and uh, I'll do some recordings uh, on some U uh, on US runs now um, that of course will probably appeal more to American viewers so if you're a European viewer I'll still do the European routes because well, obviously Europe's probably a little more interesting to you maybe maybe not I don't know <laughs> you'll have to tell me all right, so now I'm in on a kind of a country road here, and uh, it's, it's kind of nice. I kind of I, I like the scenery, and it's kind of beautiful here. Little, little some hills, little small little cliffs here. Some trucks going down the road. Hopefully, I won't smack them and lose another 400 euros. You know, I'd like to be able to buy my own truck and uh, get a garage and all that kind of stuff, but uh, if I keep smacking cars and getting speeding tickets, uh, it's going to be a long time before it happens. It's kind of a tight road. So here we go. And we're now two hours away from our destination. 159 kilometers, so we're, we're making headway here as we try to reach Frankfurt. Oh, come around this corner. Ah, ah. Oh, oh, oh! Boom! Oh, Lord! Good Lord. Wow. And that's where you find that the mouse sometimes isn't the best controller. I, I tried an Xbox 360 controller during the last episode, but um, that was even worse. So I guess I'm going to have to look into a... Uh, oh, I'm crossing into Germany right now. I guess I'm going to have to look into a uh, steering wheel of sorts to to do this properly. I, I don't know. I, mean, I might stink at it then as well. So, But we'll, I'll just have to try one and see. I really like this game. It's uh, I don't even know if I'd call it a game. It, 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 this is really kind of a true simulation. Um, so, but anyway, I enjoy this. Yeah. And uh, if you're watching this and you think it looks neat, I, I actually implore you to, to go to Steam and download the demo or even buy the game. It's, I don't think it's that much. It's, I think I paid like $27 for it off of Steam. So, not a whole lot of money. Especially if uh, it brings you hours of enjoyment. And there's a lot of mods out there for it. So I, I noticed the other day there was a mod for a bus to drive a bus. There was a mod for driving a, uh, a van. I'm sure there's substantially a, a substantial amount more. There was also a mod for... Um, ooh, this guy's going kind of slow. There was also a modification to expand the European uh, map. So you could actually... Um, what is that in the distance? Do you s wow, the big tower. Obviously, that's a landmark, and I I need to f how to look that up and find out what it is. Oh my goodness! And I never can get enough speed going to get around this guy. Good grief! Oh my goodness! Oh, I make a right up here, so hopefully uh, I won't have to sit behind him. He is taking it way too easy. Oh, come on. Ooh. Mannheim. So I'm going to have to get online to find out what exactly that is in Mannheim. Because that is, that is an interesting landmark. Alright, so I just made a right here. I'm on another... I, I, here in the U.S., I'd call this kind of a country highway, country road, some, you know, off the beat path, but I'm sure it's not. Probably a main road over there. And 109 kilometers to go. I didn't even see if I was fine for all that nonsense earlier. I'm sure I was. I, I didn't see it down there, so hoping I wasn't. Like I said, I'd like to get enough money together so I could buy a garage or a... Uh, truck, actually a truck would be nice in the beginning and then a garage. Um, something I didn't show you uh, just before I started recording was I apparently kind of like in, in an RPG I, I leveled up and I was able to choose a skill and uh, the skill I chose or skill point I chose to use Frankfurt and Stuttgart make a left is 
to do longer distance runs because according to the game the maximum run I was allowed to do right now was 250 kilometers and <laughs> as you would have it I, I didn't pay attention to how many extra kilometers I got out of the deal but I did notice right now it's it's turning night I can see the stars in the sky and the cars are turning their lights on that's that's neat so obviously there's a day and night cycle in the game which makes sense but this is the first time I've actually seen it which is really cool alright so I need to slow it down <clears throat> and make a left here and get on what looks to be a freeway Ooh, oh and act full damage nine percent wow so it looks like I've damaged the goods so that's more money gone good grief See this that's where a, a uh, steering wheel with pedal would be nice and oh it's raining wow and so there is weather you know and that was the thing I was most interested about earlier I think I mentioned it last night was whether or not there was weather and there there seems to be um, you know I need to see how to turn on windshield wipers so let's let's come over here to options keyboard uh, can I turn on windshield wipers Oh, indicators. Oops, I didn't realize I could turn on indicators. That's bad. Um, wipers is P. So P for wipers and... Where are my lights? P, P, and let's see, there's L and K. Okay, so P for my wipers. It looks like L and K for the other stuff, so I'm going to drive. There we go. I hope my lights are on. <coughs> so we'll go ahead and drive through here. Is that lightning? Huh. Well, I'm an hour and six, five minutes away, 66 kilometers. I have my windshield wipers on here as I drive. You know, I think yesterday I drove the tr or it was a, it was the day before yesterday. I think I drove the truck in uh, front bumper cam mode. So today I'm actually driving in the cam. Yeah, that in the cab. That was lightning. This this is really cool. You know, this is the kind of stuff that I really like when I play a simulation game like this. Is is the kind of the you know the realism that they put into it. And even though I play this right now in amateur mode, because let's be honest, I'm I'm not that great. Uh, and it's going to be a while before I can play this in any more of a difficulty setting. The fact that they put the effort in to, to make the, you know, the scenery nice, the windshield wipers, the, um, you know, there's a gas station right there. I'm, I'm assuming that if I was in a more difficult setting, I'd need gas, uh, which reminds me, I need to look. Yeah, I'm a little low on fuel. <coughs> 45 kilometers to go. I'm going to have to put a little bit more time into researching all the different settings and whatnot in this game. Right now I'm just kind of playing it because, well, it's fun, but, uh, I, you know, as, as I level up and I can take longer runs, I'm obviously going to have to be more concerned about fuel consumption. Uh, and of course I see gas stations and I've seen places to sleep, so, I, you know, I, in, in extraordinarily long runs it looks like I'd have to, you know, pull off and go to sleep, so, so, Osfert, so I'll exit here, it looks like I'm coming off, and, uh, is this freeway through here? Yeah, it looks like it's a freeway. I guess over here it's the Autobahn, I'm not sure if this is the actual Autobahn itself, but, it looks pretty curvy, you know? Huh, I guess that was just a GPS. Frankfurt? says it's this way and that's where we're going. My engine temperature it looks like is 89 degrees Celsius and I'm driving at zero kilometers an hour. Hmm. Something's not right there. <laughs> if I'm reading that right. Alright. Apparently this is the Frankfurt a Frankfurt exit. Actually it says it goes to Osfart, so Osfart. I said Osfart. I'm sorry if you're from there. Oh, dead gum! Ah, oh, 
Oh, look, and the rain stops when you go under the, the bridge. I'm almost there. We're 10 kilometers away. <laughs> and only 10% of the stuff in here has been damaged, so, right, we're doing good. Yeah, oh, goodness. Night rain. Frankfurt. Oh, 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 slow down. Looks like I'm coming into the city. Yep. You can see what looks to be large buildings in the distance. It looks like... That's not my entrance, but it looks like I make a right up here. Come on, green light. Come on. Driving a Volvo. Alright. Let's get this lorry moving. You know, one thing I have not noticed is cops. I've not seen any cops. Let's see if I can... Oh, nope. Drug it right across there. I was hoping to actually do this without dragging it, but... Looks like I make a left right here. I've discovered a new recruitment agency. Alright, fantastic. I'm sure they'll they'll want my expertise in wrecking. Alright. Alright, let's go ahead and drop it off. Cement delivered from Strasbourg to Frankfurt. Dry, driven distance 247 kilometers. It took 4 hours and 11 minutes of game time and 122 liters of fuel. Damage penalty. So I received 3,278 3, euros. And what's that put me at now? I've got 9,610 euros over the past couple of days. So 10,660 euros right now. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching that. Uh, that was from Strasbourg to Frankfurt, uh, carrying 25 tons of cement. Well, we got to experience some, you know, actual weather at nighttime, and also seeing what happens when you don't pay attention to the road. Thanks for watching, and uh, should have some more up in the next couple of days.